हेलो एंड नमस्ते मेरा नाम है गोविंद और आज बात करते हैं एक ऐसी किताब के बारे में जिसे शायद मैं शायद नहीं जिसे मैं एक्चुअली रोज पढ़ता हूँ एंड द नेम ऑफ द बुक इज एज यू वुड सी द डेली स्टोइक जैसा नाम है द डेली स्टोइक इट इज अ बुक दैट्स बेस्ट इफ यू रीड इट ऑन अ डेली बेसिस नाउ व्हाट इज दिस बुक अबाउट uh why is it that i recommend it uh, let's get to that number 1 the book per se is written in a format that every day you can pick up one page and you can read it and it will make a lot of sense okay uh let me read what's there on the title page and then we'll talk about what the content is so the title page is the daily stoic 366 meditations on wisdom perseverance and the art of living 366 meditations aapko laga hi hoga 366 ka matlab hai it covers the entire year it covers even if it's going to be a leap year um it says featuring new translations of seneca epictetus and marcus aurelius the author is ryan holiday who's also the best selling author of the obstacles is the way and the other author is stephen hanselman I bought it off uh, Amazon. The price that I see here on the cover is four ninety nine. I think if you get it on a sale or general discount, it will cost you anywhere from two fifty to four hundred rupees. And five hundred to four hundred rupees. In between, you will get a book. If you buy it on Amazon, it will be on sale. If you buy it on Amazon, it will be on sale. If you buy it on Amazon, it will be on sale. If you buy it on Amazon, it will be on sale. If you buy it on Amazon, it will be on sale. If you buy it on Amazon, it will be on sale. If you buy it on Amazon, it will be on sale. okay um so i bought this last year and i read it through the year uh stoicism as a concept basically is philosophizing around how do we live a good life so it's everything to do with ki zindagi achhi jeene kaise hai zindagi mein aapko shanti chahiye aapko maze chahiye you need uh just the good times out of life then stoicism is uh, possibly a very very uh, effective way of actually having that happiness in life okay so that's what i felt uh, the way this book is is that it's got three parts part 1 is something that talks about the discipline of perception part 2 talks about the discipline of action and the part 3 talks about the discipline of will and even within within these three parts ye jo teen part banaye gaye hain each of those parts relate to a few months so what happens is jo pehla part hai the first one the discipline of perception is wherein it covers your january to april char mahine so for those four months uh, in january every day what are the thoughts are it goes back to define stuff on clarity and i'll just continue that way in february passions and emotions in march awareness in april unbiased thought so that is what the part 1 is together becoming the discipline of perception uska second hum dekhenge to second part jo hai wo hai the discipline of action and in that may june july august mein we have got may right action june problem solving july duty and august pragmatism right so that is how the second part is the discipline of action then when we go to part 3 that is the discipline of will और उसमें सितंबर, अक्टूबर नवंबर, दिसंबर में है वी हैव गॉट इन सितंबर फॉर्टीट्यूड एंड रिजिलियंस वी हैव गॉट इन अक्टूबर वर्चू एंड काइंडनेस वी हैव गॉट इन नवंबर एक्सेप्टेंस एंड इन दिसंबर वी हैव गॉट मेडिटेशन ऑन मोर्टैलिटी राइट अब इसमें आप जब पढ़ना शुरू करेंगे वेन यू स्टार्ट टू रीड द बुक यू विल सी दैट दीज आर द थाट्स लार्जली ऑफ मार्कस ऑरिलियस ऑफ सिनेका एंड ऑफ एपिकटीटस Marcus Aurelius was an emperor. Uh, Seneca was a play writer, but he was also a power broker. And um, the third person, which is Epictetus, he was actually he started life. He he was a slave, and then he went on to become somebody who was uh, eventually a big guy, right? Uh, and it's not just that it only talks about these three uh, gentlemen. It actually takes in from a lot of other folks who have given their views on Stoicism. so whether it is cato whether it was uh, rufus and a few more 
it has those views okay and then the way it's written is that there is a view which is basically for example there would be one from epictetus and then uh, it is also followed by a commentary from ryan holiday and stephen hanselman okay uh, so who is this book for now for me whether you are a man or a woman a girl or a boy whether you are someone who's old someone who's young or someone who's mid in in the middle of those uh, midlife crisis let's say uh, i think this is a book for you if you are a leader or if you want to be a leader i think this is a book for you uh, if you are someone who's really really happy with his or her life or if you are someone uh, who's really frustrated with his or her, her life you will find something relevant on this book right so i would highly recommend uh, this book to anyone and everyone uh, rian holiday uh, is a publicly known person so i am going to put the link to his youtube channel on the description you can actually uh, listen to more of what he says on that youtube channel and uh, today is 30th of january so let me do one thing let me tell you how i read the book okay so 30th of january just one minute okay so 30th of january it says january 30th you don't have to stay on top of everything so consider that a sort of a uh, a summary of what it would say the saransh jo iska ek nichod hai wo nichod ye ek pankti mein hai ki you don't have to stay on top of everything bhaiya aisa nahi hai ki har ek cheez mein aapko fanne khai banna hai har ek cheez mein aapko hi chahiye ki aap hi wahan ke raja sartaj ho aur aap nahi sab kuch jaan liya but then that's a topic let's read what the thought is so this is by epictetus and here's how it goes if you wish to improve be content to appear clueless or stupid in extraneous matters don't wish to seem knowledgeable and if some regard you as important distrust yourself fine so this is what the thought is now typically the way i would i would do is i'll read this and i will actually ruminate over it by myself without going into further details of uh, what the book says so i would actually try and understand what did epictetus really mean and frankly what i have uh, found for myself too is that what i used to think of this an year back to what i think now could have changed right because i have i've got my running notes and when i'm reading it after a year sometimes things things just seem a little different to me so for me for example the thought out of this was that if you really want to improve right then there would be things which will not really be your subject matter and people would possibly expect you to give some gyan even on that what epictetus as per me says here is chhod do yaar leave that leave that aside for the time being right you concentrate on what is really really important to you there would be a number of things wherein some people would also expect that you will uh, have the brains to actually be able to give your views you may not or you need not there is no compulsion aisa nahi hai ki aapka किसने सोचा ही हुआ भैया इसको पता तो उसको सब कुछ ही पता होना चाहिए ठीक है नाउ दैट इज माय थर्ड प्रोसेस बट आई इक्वली रीड व्हाट रियान हॉलिडे हैड टू से ऑन दिस वन सो दिस इज व्हाट ही सेज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पावर्ड पावरफुल थिंग्स यू कैन डू एज अ ह्यूमन बीइंग इज इन आवर हाइपर कनेक्टेड 24/7 मीडिया वर्ल्ड इज से आई डोंट नो और मोर प्रोवोकेटिवली आई डोंट केयर मोस्ट ऑफ द सोसाइटी सीम्स टू हैव टेकन इट एज अ कमांडमेंट दैट वन मस्ट नो about every single current event watch every episode of every critically acclaimed television se- series follow the news religiously and present themselves to other others as an informed and worldly individual but where is the evidence that this is actually necessary is the obligation enforced by the police or is it that you are just afraid of seeming silly at a dinner party yes you owe it to your country and your family to know generally about events that may directly affect them but that's about all how much more time energy and pure brain power would you have available if you drastically cut your media consumption how much more rested and present would you feel if you are no longer excited and outraged by every scandal breaking story and potential crisis many of which never come to pass anyway uh, so now what ryan has said is something very relatable i mean ये एक ऐसा सिनेरियो जहाँ पे वॉट ही सेड एंड वॉट इवन आई थॉट ऑफ इट इज ओवरलैपिंग बट देर आर टाइम्स जहाँ पे मेरा 
thought process for that thought could be really different to what Ryan Holiday is saying, and very likely he's the one who has the right view. But I just seem to have a different view, right? And I I carry on with that uh, difference of opinion at times. But largely, uh, this is very relatable because if you are watching, it is that yes, in the social media life, everybody is doing that. In fact, for the last uh, few years, I was not in on any social media apart from Twitter. Uh, it was only last week that I opened my Instagram account, and also again with a very specific purpose that that would be my outflow uh, of uh, uh, my thoughts when it comes to reading and when it comes to books. Okay, so on that thought, I will leave you with the title of the book again. The title of the book is The Daily Stoic, and it's a book that I read every day, and it continues to give. All right, thank you. thank you for your time to watch this video and i hope uh, if you happen to buy this you will stand to be benefited bye